What is up? What is good? What is going on? Knuckle heads and wet shave bands. Knuck shaver here in my shave band coming at you with the shave of the day today. What we're going to be using today for the brush, the beautiful turtle ship brush. Um, it does glow in the dark. I think I've mentioned that. This thing is phenomenal. I think it's a 24 or 26 mil knot. Beautiful. Um, fantastic knot in there. For the razor, the carve razor with a C plate. This razor is freaking awesome. Um, super tight tolerances in there, which make it so good. Um, I'm trying to find something wrong with it because I keep on giving good reviews for stuff, but I cannot find anything wrong with this razor. This razor is freaking awesome. And if you look at anybody else's reviews, they all say the same thing. That's the Carve Christopher Bradley razor. As for the soap, we're going to be using Turtle Ship Coconut. Um, I have to give a shout out and thank you to the people at Turtle Ship for sending me these soaps. I have all six Turtle Ship soaps now. All of them are fantastic. I also want to say something. People say that I'm only giving good reviews because people send me stuff, which is so not true because I've got so many soaps. I can give a bad review and I'm not worried about a company not sending me soaps. That kind of thing. It doesn't make any sense for me to blow smoke up people's asses. So if you're coming here to watch reviews, these are going to be honest reviews and just know that. Um, one thing I will say is if a vendor in Arson sends me something, I am more likely to do a review on that before I do a review on something that I bought myself because they're nice enough to send me something. So there's that. Okay, got that off my chest. So thank you, Turtle Ship, for these soaps. Coconut is probably my favorite. Um, I love the patchouli as well. They're actually all really nice. The only one that isn't really for me is the pine. Um, I don't really like pine scented soaps for some reason. Um, their pine reminds me of uh, Soapy Bathman's Lumberjack, which is a Canadian wet shavers exclusive. Guys love it. It just wasn't for me. Um, and I find the same kind of scent to it. It's a great scent. I'm sure people that like pine will love it. It's pine essential oil. It's just not for me. It is a nice scent. Um, nice and strong. Not overly, overly strong, but medium. But it is the one that's not for me. So I will be passing that soap on to somebody. That is for sure. The coconut, however, off the puck. Oh my God. It smells like toasted coconut. It is. This is a delicious soap. This is awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. And once I lather it up, it kind of go, turns... It turns a bit more creamy, um, almost like a coconut cream pie kind of thing. It is delicious. It's good for the summer because coconut and the summer kind of go together, but it's also creamy enough that it'd be nice in the winter um, all year round. Like, let's be honest, um, a delicious scent like coconut is good for all year. Let's be completely honest. Just loading up the brush here. It is a harder soap. It's definitely a hard soap. It's not um, a... Uh, softer soap like a lot of the newer soaps are. Um, I don't see a lot of turtle ship soaps in Shave of the Days. Um, I don't know, I don't think they push the product as much as some people do, but their stuff is awesome. Like it's just so good. Anybody that's tried it like loves it. Um, their bay rum is awesome, especially if you don't like cloves that much. Um, the lime is also really nice lime scent. Um, not candyish. It's all essential oils I believe in all their soaps. So you're getting like natural scents which is nice. But they are nice and they're medium to strong, I would say, most of the scents. The lime's probably medium to light. Um, but the coconut, this is a strong, like, medium to strong scent, which is awesome for coconut. Because I've had other coconut soaps where you don't really get the coconut. You get, like, a kind of, like, a very little actual scent from the coconut. But this one, oh, yeah, this is, oh, it smells so good. And the lather, you can see, nice and thick, dense. In case you didn't notice, I'm kind of growing a beard. We'll see how long this lasts. Who knows? Just something I'm trying out. Um, Midlife crisis, maybe? Who knows? Um, I can't foresee it by self getting like a ZZ Top beard, but yeah, I don't mind it. People have commented that they like it, so who knows? We'll try it for a bit. Oh, the scent on this soap, I'm telling you guys, is freaking awesome. And I'm not just saying that, but this is one... One of, if not the most delicious smelling soaps I have. Um, again, the Carve C plate. This was a brand new Nasset blade. When it comes to Carve, when people ask uh, what what plate they should get, C is like a middle of the road. It's not. Um, super mild and it's not super aggressive. So it's aggressive enough that you could use it after a couple days growth, but
but it's mild enough that you could use it for uh, if you're a daily shaver, if it's going to be your daily driver. And I see that they just put out their E and F plates, which are more aggressive, which is awesome because I know a lot of guys want a more aggressive plate. So they have that option now, which is fantastic. The quality of the shave this thing gives is awesome. It's, yeah, and I love, like, the knurling on the handle is beautiful. I think he's coming out with polished ones now as well, which is super cool because the polished brass ones look fantastic. I'm really digging this razor. I, guys were raving about it before I got it, and I was kind of like... I gotta find something wrong with this razor, because there's no way it can be that good. It might just be a Canadian thing, Canadian guys blowing smoke up a Canadian artisan's butt because it's Canadian made, blah blah blah. But, such is not the case. It is just a fantastic razor. Um, it's funny, because I used to be a all about the vintage razors. I love my vintages, my aristocrats. Um, Gillette's, vintage Gillette's, all that kind of stuff. I love vintage razors. But since in the last like few months, I've been using pretty much non-stop modern razors. Um, between the Tatara razor, the Massamoon, and the Carve for DEs, like those two razors are flawless. They are amazing. Um, people want me to choose between the two. I can't. Um, they're like, which one would you recommend? Well, budget-wise, the Curve is going to fit more people's budgets. I think it's 100 bucks Canadian, between, 100 and, between 99 and 109 depending on what length handle you get. Um, extra plates, I think, are 30 bucks. whereas I think the Tatara is 185 American, so it's more expensive, but both razors are amazing. Like, they are just, anybody they've talked to, those two razors are right up there amongst their favorite favorites, which... Yeah, they are definitely two by two top modern DEs right now, and the Rockwell would be right up there too. Um, but these two are just a little slight bit ahead. Um, just amazing, just super good quality, which is all you can ask for. So for like a hundred bucks, the price point, hundred bucks Canadian. So American, that's what like three bucks American. I don't know what the exchange is. Probably like seventy five bucks American. Um, and I see more and more guys using the Curve, and I think you're just going to see more and more people on Instagram and Facebook and on YouTube using it. Um, saw another cut above used it the other day, and he's over the moon with it. I think he said it's his favorite, the best DE razor he owns, or his favorite DE razor. And I know he's got quite a few razors, so... And that's the thing, I think this is my, one of my top two, top three DEs easily. And I've got a bunch of DEs, um, so yeah, definitely a awesome, awesome razor. As you can see, i got a trouble spot right here. This is my... Beautiful. There we go. So I've been doing two passes on my neck before I wasn't, but... This soap has really nice slickness, really nice residual slickness as well. Not, a, It's not one where you feel like you're sticky afterwards like that, but it's enough that you can just add a little bit of water or go over and do like a little buffing pass there. You have a couple of marks from before, so just the new NASA slice through those on my Adam's apple area, but that's to be expected there. Um, really big in the NASA blade. I've been using the treat blades lately, the black treat blades. I don't know if you guys have seen them before or use them. I wonder what people think of these. I'll show you. Been using these a bit lately. Um, I like them. They're pretty decent. Um, not bad. I don't see them being used a lot, but I think somebody sent me something and included a, a tuck of them and I've been... For some reason I thought they were bad blades or I'd heard bad things about them, but I think there's a bunch of different treat models, so... Yeah, so we got these. Great blades, great shave, a little bit of... Didn't quite get all the soap off my neck. But yeah, that was a great shave. I love the scent of that 
soap is just so good. The, the post shave is nice on it. Really good post shave. Um, I think if you like coconut, it's a must try. The Tijava is also wonderful. Just a really cool, unique scent. Um, can't think of anything that smells like it. Can't really think of anything that smells like this coconut. It's got this scent strength in it. Like, oh, it is so good, guys. I'm telling you. The Turtle Ship coconut. And the labeling and the packaging on the Turtle Ship stuff is so fantastic. It looks amazing. The brush, as I said, it's a beast. Glows in the dark. It is so cool. Um, the razor, the carved razor. And actually, to finish my shave, I'm actually going to, I got some beard oil. So I'm going to try this beard oil. It's Beards and Beavers from Toronto, Canada. Um, it's called Twice Baked is the scent. And it kind of smells like toasted marshmallow or tart. Yeah, toasted something. Toasted graham cracker or something. Pretty awesome. I've never used it before, so. Put a couple drops in my hand. And we'll rub it into the beard there. Oh my god, it smells so good too. Really nice mix with the coconut, the toastiness. The coconut so transfers nicely. There we go. So that was that. Pretty awesome shave. I'm um, glad you guys tuned in. I'm going to try to get more videos. Um, I'm going to try. I know I say this all the time, but I'm going to try to put a new video on like Wednesdays and Fridays for the next few weeks. Um, I have some time to record them. Um, I got a new memory card coming in, so I'll be able to record longer videos. Um, yeah, so I'm excited about that. Um, yeah, personal life's been shit lately. Um, but the shaving stuff is keeping me motivated, keeping me going. Um, gotten lots of great stuff, like different razors, the Blackland Saber, um, the Carve, the Tatara. Like, just got some great razors, some great soaps. I got Storybook um, Summer Break soaps. Um, I got... One of their soaps, and I'll be using that on camera too. It's a great, great artisan. Just, I've gotten some great soaps lately. I really want to get these out to you guys, tell you what I think of them. But all I can say is this soap is awesome. This will be in my den. I will not be trading this away until I finish this puck off because I love it. It is awesome. I would say it's my top turtle ship soap. Um, this, patchouli, and the Tijava are my top three, I would say. Although the Bay Rum is amazing too. They're all awesome. Um, only one not my style is probably the pine, which I said earlier, but still is a great soap. That being said, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you for supporting my channel. Thanks for all the DMs. I'm getting lots of people uh, DMing me about my uh, new uh, Art Razor horse hair brush. The thing is awesome. I'll get that on camera on Friday. We'll use that on Friday um, for my next shave. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you use Turtle Ship, um, what you think? What you think of the Carve Razor? Um, do you think it's overhyped? Do you think it deserves the hype? Um, for me, it deserves all the hype it gets. It is fantastic. The fact that it's Canadian just makes it even better. But that being said, shout out to my brothers in the Canadian Wet Shavers group. Um, have a great day. It's hump day. Be nice to each other. Have a great day. Deuces.